Good afternoon, Robert Scribbler. It is August 23rd, 2018. Thank you for joining me for another climate change and clean energy video blog. Now for this segment, I'm going to try something new. And what I intend to do is every Thursday, publish a video blog on climate voices that, that I respect and wish to promote and provide you with a sample of some of their, their comments and, and insights in social media and in the media in general. And the person that I'd like to start out with today is Catherine Hayhoe, who is a scientist who is one of our best communicators, in my opinion, on the issue of human-caused climate change and on the issue of what she calls global weirding, which is climate misinformation in the public zeitgeist, as it were. Now, I'm going to be leaving a link to this particular global weirding video blog that she, she posted last year. In my opinion, it's absolutely relevant today, and I am going to recommend that everyone click on the link and listen to the video blog which describes some of the, the pitfalls that, that people can fall into when it comes to understanding the threat of human-caused climate change and the necessity for a global response in addition to support of major policies that move us forward on the issue of human-caused climate change like the Paris Climate Summit. I'd just like to add that Catherine Hayhoe is one of the wittiest and sharpest scientists that I have run into in social media. So if you do contact her and speak with her on social media, I recommend that you have your ducks in a row. Otherwise, you might uh, unintentionally find yourself well out of your area of, of knowledge and, and getting chided admittedly playfully about uh, your inaccuracies. So I highly recommend you take a look at Catherine Hayhoe's Global Weirding page. Now moving on, I'd just like to call your attention to this recent statement from Al Gore as it relates to a news story that, in my opinion, shows the hypocrisy, the, the brazen hypocrisy of the fossil fuel industry when it comes to human-caused climate change, notably that oil companies right now are asking for government funding to build seawalls to protect refineries from sea level rise due to human-caused climate change that they're causing by, well, refining oil and selling it, which then subsequently gets burned and ends up in the atmosphere, heats up the atmosphere, melts glaciers, and results in sea level rise. Al Gore notes, the irony and hypocrisy is breathtaking. Fossil fuel companies and their cronies in Congress care more about protecting polluters responsible for the climate crisis than they do protecting people and humanity's future. We have to change this. Register and vote. Bob Henson is another voice that I would like to promote that typically co covers extreme weather events as they relate to human-caused climate change and is a major expert writing for Weather Underground as a meteorologist, journalist, and blogger. Today, he has written a very comprehensive article on the issue of extreme rainfall potential from Hurricane Lane, which I encourage you to read. Bob Henson is a sharp, intelligent expert in my view and is well worth following both on Weather Underground and on Twitter. Uh, he appears to me to be a, a soft-spoken guy who rarely speaks up with, with regards to his opinion, but when, his, when he does, his opinions, at least in my view, weigh quite heavily. Dr. Michael E. Mann, in my opinion, is the pocket battleship of climate science communication. He just keeps going and going and blasting away at the big issues of the day and is well worth following and reading. Notably, Dr. Michael Mann is a major proponent of responses to human, human caused climate change. And though he could certainly be called a climate realist, he is also a bit of a climate optimist in that 
he believes that, that humankind has the potential to respond effectively to human-caused climate change, and he continuously advocates for such responses, as he did in this recent Twitter post noting the single biggest way to have an impact on climate change and other envi environmental crises is through collective pressure on policymakers to act in our interest rather in, than in than special interests, such as fossil fuel companies and coal companies that, that attempt to more and more often try and lock us into dangerous greenhouse gas emissions. I really encourage you to follow Dr. Michael Mann, listen to what he has to say, retweet his comments, and, and, and share these expert opinions. Last of all, I'd like to highlight another climate commenter and expert uh, meteorologist for 30 years, Guy, Guy Walton, who recently commented on the issue of potential impacts, climate change related impacts to hurricanes in the Pacific as it relates to Hurricane Lane. Guy noted one more point about climate change in Lane. Lane will undergo shear well before it gets to its closest point to Hawaii. Future Hawaiian hurricanes may see less shear due to jet stream changes. As many scientific studies expect the polar jet stream to move closer to the pole as the equator warms. So just a few individuals that I would like to promote, individual experts on human-caused climate change. I will be adding links to their publications and or blogs and or Twitter pages in the comments section of this video blog. I encourage you to follow them, listen to what they have to say, and contribute in the form of comments as well as sharing their views on social media. Thank you for joining me, and I'll be chatting with you soon.